everybody, and welcome back to Let's Make a Mick with Marlowe Stingrays, and I think it's too good of an opportunity to pass up. I'm probably only going to get one good round in, because I think these guys will be able to, and I am going to still try to finish these guys off, uh, but because I, I, I'm having too much trouble over here, uh, Natalie is just in a really bad way. I need to get her out of there, so I need to finish this up as fast as possible, but I really think this is too good of a chance to pass up. bugging out. I can get behind this. You're immobilized, so I don't need to... Well, your turret's still facing me, I guess. I could move you there and not have to worry too much about it. Let's do that. I think there's a lot of cover here between these two sections. So I think, I think they might be trying to descend a little bit on this archer. But I can move him out of there, I think. At least a little bit. What kind of weapons do you have? Kind of longest range. I, that's why I kind of put you in the corner. I knew you had the PPC. I wasn't sure about anything else. LRM 10, SRM 6, and this is all going to focus on him. So stick with. Okay, he is reacting to me. You have what AC 10s, I think, and a PPC and a couple medium lasers. You're in good position. You stay right there. You just turn around and face this guy. You likewise just walk up to him. Kind of thinking he's going to eject. If not, I can probably throw a little bit of fire that way. Okay, you're going after the blackjack, good. Man, yeah, that's not that's less than ideal, but can't be helped. Is there any position where Yeah, this thing can still take me far out. Everything else is going to have trouble. Okay, he did abandon you. Good. And you, out of three. I don't think I want to just leave you standing there, necessarily. The tank is still below you, but I think the tank has yet to move. Wait, where is that tank? Oh, it's over here. Uh, we could just tear up this guy. Mod of 5, or he ran mine, so he mod of 3, 5, 8, 8 to shoot him, then like a 6 to kick him, if I just stand there. Well, if I ran, 
puts the medium lasers in range. What's my targeting number? He's at 2 2. Plus, he has bonuses to like something. Uh, natural aptitude gunnery, so he's really good at gunnery. He can dodge if I ever want to do that. Ballistic gunnery, so he gets his AC5 will have a better chance of hitting. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's short range for the people. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do that. He has to run to do it, but I think it will be worth it. A little bit. If I can make it up to there, yeah, just walk. Better target numbers. Okay, you ejected. Who do we have here? You got what? Sevens and nines. This is our Warhammer. Six is to hit him. Um, that's yeah, a couple PPCs at that uh, blackjack. Kind of looks like that cicada is going after him anyway. You, we are definitely going after the, pretty much everything. Yeah. Let's see, half part of me. Seven to six is. Uh, I mean, I'm. Marlowe's going to probably take a few hits. <laughs> Eight, seven, just fire everything. What the heck is this? Oh, the militia mech. I didn't even notice this guy back here. <laughs> uh, can you see the blackjack? Where's the blackjack? The blackjack's right here. Yeah, let's throw a couple PPCs at him. And you, I think we were wanting a medium laser. Well, if I twist you, well, I can fire one of these lasers at you. And I guess the other one, is, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want him to be the primary target, no. Alright, let's do it the other way around then. Is it because you're closer, maybe? Because he's closer. So it turns that into a seven, basically. So it'd be nine and seven. Whatever. Let's just do that. Sevens. Yeah, let's do that. A couple of our arm 20s. All right, Locust on my Cicada did hit with one machine gun. He's fine. Wolverine on my Archer, fine. Warhammer did hit with one of the PPCs. Blackjack hit my Archer, but he's fine. Stinger on my Archer. Ooh, tore up the leg a little bit. Threw all the armor. Threw armor crit. What happened? Manticore! Wow, look at the armor on that thing. 42, right torso. SRM 6s, thrash him about a little bit. PPC, now we're not going to get this guy unless we get like a lucky through armor crit. Uh, Atlas, AC 20 miss, medium laser hit. Medium laser hit, SRM 6 miss, LRM 20 hit. But otherwise, we're fine. Striker on the Atlas. Vindicator on the Lumberjack mech. And we might not actually take this guy out. Uh, Shadowhawk on the Lumberjack mech. Especially if we're missing like everything. Cicada on the Blackjack. Hit only with a small laser. Blackjack on my Striker. Uh, okay, she's fine. That 
Mist, Warhammer, Mist, Vedetti on Cicada, hit with one missile, one hand, and AC5 in the head. He is otherwise fine. Lumberjack missed his kick. Uh, Vindicator hit connected with the kick, damaging the hip and the foot. I don't know how that happens. Uh, you connected with the kick on the other side. Uh, Blackjack kicked my Mantic War. Kick the leg off of the Locust. Ruin Charlie will fall. Hurt, hurt himself in the fall. And the lumberjack fell, hurting himself in the fall. Yep, we do go one and one more. Uh, okay, it's an like internal combustion engine, so that's why it's having to make the stall check. But it is still running. Although we did destroy engine explosion, that would probably suck. Uh, <laughs> the engine and two gyro hits. It is. It will be done, but it isn't going to be done this round. He will eject this round. So this will definitely be the last round of combat. And I really wanted to see when that archer or the atlas moved. He'll probably eject. Well, he might eject. I don't know. Okay, yeah, the Lumberjack did reject. He's prone? Why is he prone? Did he... F I don't remember the Blackjack falling over. Maybe he did, I guess. I mean, he is prone, so something happened. Um... Can I just, like, get you, like, way over here? just kind of run up to me if I did that. My best bet is just to kind of get up with everybody else. Uh, did he move yet? He has not yet moved. He has just got moved. He has not yet moved. standing there. Um, he walked. So he has a target number of one, three, four, five, six to hit with the 20. What if I made you go pro? I did duck. <laughs> He'd probably shoot the Manticore. Hey, we're just gonna have to take it. We're gonna have to stand here and take it.
did heat you up quite a bit, didn't I? Well then, I didn't think I heat you, heated you up that much. In one round, you third plus 13 heat. How many heat things do you have? Sixteen. Fired two PPCs, an AC5, and two on medium lasers, plus you ran. Two PPCs would be plus four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I guess it is. I guess just stay there then. I don't know. I was expecting the round to end. We did do significant damage. He is heated up a little bit. You guys can start marching south, though. Start adding your fire. salvage this round. Forgot to reset my timer, but I think this is going to be the last episode of this battle anyway. Uh, you're standing on him now. I know you didn't heat up. Um, just keep you standing there. Five, six. So you're in PPC range again, so we'll throw another couple PPCs your way. I need to watch that heat a little bit. But... Okay, Lumberjack, he ejected. Uh, Locust tried to stand up. Failed, hurting himself in the fall. Her... Well, he fell, hurt the mech, and then hurt himself. Or herself. Massim. I think it's a he. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. Weapon fire phase. Do we want to PPC this guy again? H to hit with the PPCs. I would generate how much heat? You would be at 11 heat. This is the last round. I think it's. Okay, if I did that. 11 heat plus 5 with 15 heat. I don't remember where the. Let's, let's not go that crazy. There's two PPCs. Yeah, I'm really trying to go after this guy, so we'll keep trying that. I'll be able to kick that locust. Five heat, eight heat, eleven heat, fourteen heat. Let's not do fourteen heat. I think fourteen is where you need to make the roll. You're just going to have to play it safe. Eight sixes, fives. Oh, well, they're all sixes, actually. AC5. That would put me at 12 feet. T 
tends to hit him with LRM-20s. Or 9s for him. What's your heat like? I think... I think I'm going to try the LRM-20s. Put you at 11 heat. Okay, it's fine. Sort of. It's not really fine, but I'm going to say it's fine. Fire these. I think you can fire everything. You I want a couple PPC shots on 10 heat. I could probably go ahead and throw in a medium laser up at you at 13. Stinger on my cicada. Looks like he blew off an arm. I created it quite a bit. You know, if with three crits, it should have blown that off, huh? Atlas on my Marauder. Miss the, miss the medium laser hit. Missiles hit. LRM 20 mil. Okay. Okay, you completely missed the blackjack. You hit with one medium laser on the blackjack. Big deal. Striker. Atlas. Okay, hit the leg. Hit the leg. Uh, through armor crit right torso. Destroying the AC 20. Wolverine on the Warhammer. Now this is uh, Natalie, but uh, she she's fine so far. Marauder, PPC on the Atlas, right torso. It must be internal on the right torso. AC5 internal. Apparently I critted the our ammo, but the edge saved him. I gave it to him. He's supposed to be a special character. Um, Vedetti on the archer. Archer's fine. Blackjack on my striker. She's fine. Militia make on my Warhammer hit with an LRM5. Vindicator on the Atlas. PPC and LRM. PPC hit. Archer missed his LRM20s. Shadowhawk, left torso, left arm, right torso. He nearly tore off the torso. Uh, blackjack. It's their blackjack on my archer. Okay, he's fine. Cicada on the blackjack. Didn't do much. Locust on my archer. Hit me in the head, and he blacked out. Okay, Manticore, connect with the medium laser, destroying uh, the torso, transfer to the center torso. RM10 on the Atlas. Hit, okay, he's used up his edge. And then he hit the head again, so I did actually still hit him in the head. <laughs> he's out of edge. SRM6, PPC on the Atlas, internal, oh, there we go, PPC on the blackjack, one of them hit. Okay, my archer fell and he did hurt himself in the ball. Blackjack's still standing and he's still standing. I don't know, can you like punch him or something? Yeah, I guess go ahead and try to punch him. And you try to kick him. Alright, Striker, I did punch him, didn't really matter. Wolverine on my Archer, kicked. Blackjack on my Striker, kicked. Archer, kicked the Wolverine. And Cicada, kicked the Blackjack. Alright, right, still standing. Now the Wolverine fell. Okay. In phase, I think we are done. Although I'm pretty sure I could take out Mr. Sorensen if I had another round. Yeah. Civilian zero. 
that will do it. He's going to get a chance to retreat. lots of salvage on the field. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm. I don't know why it always takes so long to actually process all this. I guess I shouldn't complain, it does actually process it all, so... Yeah, Bruce... Well, Natalie had way more damage than... Oh, was that Bruce this whole time? I guess so. I get them confused. They're twins, what are you gonna do? Archer... He has some, like... No, what do have? It must be this other one. The undamaged one. Yeah, the upper and lower leg. I'm gonna have to order some of those in. Indicator. I don't think these guys really took anything significant. Stry Striker took some damage. I think my Marauder took some damage. Oh wow, yeah, he almost went through the left torso. They did build up just a little bit of heat. <laughs> just, just a little. Okay, uh... Yeah, El Indio hurt himself. I think everybody else is fine. And now the salvage portion of the uh, day. That escaped. This locust did not escape. It's missing a leg, though. I don't want to deal with yet another locust with a missing leg. This is still functional. Although it's a Vedetti. I don't know that I actually want a Vedetti either. I uh, don't want any of those. Firestarter salvage. The Phoenix Hawk is crippled. I really want to let Green Phoenix Hawk. I don't really want any of this stuff. Firestarter was the only thing I wanted, but it's dead. We did cripple the Atlas. Blew off the arm. Still dangerous, but uh, we did do a number on it. We focused it down pretty hard. Like I said, we built up a lot of heat to do it. They escaped, it didn't really matter. Um, I mean, it... It's, Probably should take the salvageable things. What's wrong with this one? Well, it's, it's even more screwed up. Nah. It's just a civilian mech, and I'd have to deal with the missing hit or the hip thing. And... Well, you're missing a torso and a leg. save some percentage for next time. Just take these two. I didn't even touch our percentages. If I did take this Phoenix Hop, what would that do? 46%. Nah. You know what? We're, we're going to save some tonnage for next time. Captured a Vedetti pilot. I said, I guess everybody else must have got away. This doesn't seem correct. Well, the harvester I know for sure, right? that con was the one that really did a number on that. The other one was kind of a joint venture. I can't remember. 
like the Phoenix Hawk was pretty much a joint venture, although I'm pretty sure El Indio had something to do with it. Alright, that's a victory. battle so I'll probably get us up to Sunday again like I normally do for next time uh, Bruce Kidney how long are you gonna be out for, for that ten days I may have to uh, sit this particular company out for a little while Where's he at? This is the Nikita company. Nikita Land. So I won't need to do repairs anyway, so yeah. Uh, probably have to take them off of rotation for a little while. We'll go ahead and get you in to the doctor. Oh, Malfoy's still down. How bad is he still off? What's wrong with you? Oh, yeah, you had that concussion. Still gonna be out for about 13 days. Yeah, take a little bit of a beating, but it's that was a good battle. That was a little tense. <laughs> Look at our repair bay. Everybody took a little bit of damage. I'm gonna need to get some uh, actuators in. Hmm. I think everything else, well, crazy Ivan. Pretty much reloads, gearing the legs back together, but yeah. This is a lot of stuff we do in between rounds, so. Uh, Alright, well, it was a victory. <laughs> and we tried, we tried, tried to take out Malik. Came close. We came really close. I mean, it was this edge that saved him. <laughs> it was just kind of cool. I really, I really like having, like, this commander showing up at, like, turn six. It's adds a really interesting dynamic, kind of like a timer almost. Because uh, a lot of times, you know, this time I had reinforcements that I could try to ambush him, but most of the, you know, before I didn't, didn't have these reinforcements. And it's just like, this atlas shows up when I'm already kind of beat up. <laughs> and usually not even in position to try to shoot him. So I don't, it's not something I'm going to do all the time, but it is something I'll probably will revisit sometime in the future, as the story demands. As I get inspired by story, that's a lot of times what a lot of this is going to be. So. I can't repair that arm because it has a broken shoulder. Alright. I'll put a cut in there. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, crash and burn.